Hey guys, Craig from Goodland here. Let me show you how to light the fire in your wood-burning hot tub. First things first is we need to have some firewood for the wood-burning hot tub. Grab yourself some dry firewood logs. You're gonna have to chop this into some small diameter kindling. To start your fire, you need a small handful of dry paper and a small handful of dry kindling. In the bottom of the stove box here, I'm going to arrange a bundle of paper and a handful of kindling. Just crisscross in there, make sure there's room for air to get around. Next up, you're gonna take a standard lighter and light it. Once you get that little stack of kindling going, then you can move up to some larger kindling. Once your kindling fire is going, to bring the tub up to temperature, you're gonna use larger diameter logs that are one inch to four inch diameter. Anything larger than this diameter is going to draw all the energy out of the fire instead of transferring the energy into the water. Arrange it in such a way so that lots of air can get around each log. Fill it all the way up to the top and put the lid on. When you put the lid on and the, you've got a fire going, you wanna make sure that there's air going into the bottom of the fire. This is the air intake. That's gonna draw air all the way into the bottom of the fire. When you're operating the wood-burning hot tub, you should have almost no smoke coming out of the chimney. So if you have smoke like this, it means that you're not allowing enough air into the firebox. So all you do is just slide open the lid and allow a little more air in there. And this is what it should look like when it has enough air. If you follow all those steps, you should be able to heat the Goodland wood burning hot tub up in an hour and a half to two hours. If this is your first time, maybe allow two and a half to three and a half hours to heat it up. There's a little bit of a learning curve. All right, let me show you a few ways that we can speed up that heat up time. First trick is gonna be air management. You wanna make sure that your fire gets lots of air because it burns as much air as it does wood. So you never wanna suffocate the fire. The hot water rises to the top, so make sure you stir often. If you really wanna make it happen quick, you can remove this seat back. This allows the hot water to circulate a little bit easier without getting absorbed into the seat back. The last trick to getting it to heat up super fast is you can float some rigid insulation while you heat it up and of course roll your cover back on. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video with us today. If you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you wanna see more. And if you have any specific questions, drop them in the comments below.